On last week's edition of Beat Diabetes, I showed you how to use a blood sugar meter, and we talked in general about how important they are. In today's edition, we will compare meter versus meter and finger versus finger. And because good things come to those who wait, uh, Benedicta will be here a little bit later on, and she will demonstrate in her own Benedicta way how to use a blood sugar meter. But let's just go ahead and load all four up. I'm going to try to save myself some finger sticks by using the same drop of blood to uh, measure with each one of these. So what it means is I load first all of these and then I'll use the same blood uh, drop. Okay, so what we've got here is uh, the low of 105 to a high of 113. Freestyle light, Dr. Bernstein's choice, 105, I like that. <laughs> Contour next, which has a good reputation, 109. And the uh, Freestyle Precision Neo, 113. And the Relyon comes in pretty close to all the others, 111. Now, in the past, it has given me significantly higher readings than uh, some of the others, but this time it's hanging right in there, so I don't know what to say about that, except I, I just don't feel real confident in this Relyon blood sugar meter. So uh, a, a point spread of eight points really isn't too bad. That's probably about as good as you could expect. Um, it Obviously, it would be nice if they were all exactly the same, 105, 105, 105, 105. Well, that's, that's not the real world. But still, it's given you a, a fairly good general idea of where my glucose is. A bit higher than probably a normal person, but still not at all too bad. Now, even if your glucose meter isn't completely accurate, all is not lost. Because if it's at least accurate within itself, in other words, it's not bouncing all over the place, it will give you consistent readings. They may be consistently high or consistently low, but at least they're consistent. Then you can simply check yourself out just before going into the doctor's office, you know, measure gl your glucose in the car, go into the doctor's office, get your glucose done. And then if it turns out your meter always reads high, you can deduct points. If it always reads low, you can add points. So it could still be useful. So the question is, can these be at least consistent within themselves? In other words, if I use the same finger at the same time and measure three different readings, bang, 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 will they all be right close to each other? Well, let's find out. We'll start with the rely on. We'll get out three strips. So a 111, fairly consistent with what it was before. Test number two. Whoa, a 125. I mean, just a second, a few seconds difference, and it's jumped up 14 points. That's not so good. and a 109, 111, 109, and then the 125. So not totally satisfactory. I would at least like it to be within a few points every time. Let's move on to the next one. 111, staying fairly close. 113, not too bad. And a 108, so about a five point range for the three tests with the Freestyle Precision Neo. 113 for the Precision Neo. 106 for the second test. And 110 for the third test. 109 for the first test. 105 for the second test and 110 for the third test. 
Now, there is one other test that I would like to do. I hear some people talk about how fingers make a difference, and if you do it with this finger, it'll be different with that finger, and do it with the thumb, it'll be different. So, let's just try that. We'll just use our freestyle light once again. No, let's, let's use the contour next. And we will try two very different areas. Or let's try three. We'll do a middle finger, a fourth finger, and a, a, a thumb. Middle finger 103. Ring finger on the right hand. 104. Didn't make much difference there. And the right thumb, 104. So <laughs> by that measure, uh, which finger uh, hardly matters at all, at least according to this particular meter. Well, today we have a special treat. My lovely lady, my wife Benedicta, has agreed to bless us with her presence. Thank you for being in this video. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> so today, we're going to take someone who is essentially a novice about testing her blood sugar and see how well she can pick it up. Now, you may be saying, wait a minute, we, we've seen her do all kinds of tests. But that's not quite right, is it? Uh, I don't do everything. <laughs> <laughs> you have seen lots of tests that uh, you saw the glucose meter, you saw the numbers she got, but guess what? I was the guy punching the finger and squeezing the finger and getting a <laughs> drop of blood and applying... I, you you always want me to do it. Yeah, because I'm nervous and I'm fearful of punching my own fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole time we've been doing this, I can only remember one time where I convinced you to do it yourself. That was in the car. In the car. At the mall. At the mall. Boy, I was wondering if you'd remember that, but uh, apparently it left a, a vivid memory for both of us. Right. Uh, last Christmas time, we went to the mall and uh, we were in the car. I said, just why don't you do it and I'll yeah. get some uh, pictures and video of it. So you did, and you did okay, but uh, mm -hmm. since then you've gone back to letting good old Dennis do it. Yeah, I just have to give you the finger and then remove my face and... Uh, mm -hmm. So today, uh, I've convinced her to do it herself this time again. Oh, no. And, ah. uh, you know, one thing I forgot to mention on uh, last week's video was that you always need to wash your hands. So step yes. one of this whole process is to wash your hands. Wash I've them washed good, my hands. And she has washed her hands. So step one has already been done. Right. Uh, if you, Especially if you've got food particles or some kind of syrup or gravy on your fingers, that, that could be a problem. But even maybe dirt, I don't know. But anyway, right. wash those hands, rinse off the soap. Get them good and clean. Some people say use alcohol. I've never done that much, hardly at all, but uh, some people swear by it. So anyway, so uh, Benedicta just just a few minutes ago wa uh, watched the video of yes. last week where I showed you just how to do it. So this time she's going to do it on her own or at least try and we'll see how much she has learned and we'll see what kind of a teacher I am because if I'm a good teacher, she should have picked it up. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but if I'm a poor teacher, she may have watched that and didn't figure it out. So let's see. And in fact, I even brought a little fake. Don't help me not to make mistakes. A little uh, unconnected microphone to, to <laughs> give you the play by play. So we've already, she's going to use the uh, Precision Neo because it's a little brighter for the camera to pick up. Go ahead and start. Okay. And folks, we have Benedicta right now preparing to do step two. After washing the hands, she is going to place the strip in the meter. Let's see how she does. There she goes, pushing it. Has she pushed it hard enough? Ah, you see that little blood drop blinking? That means it's in, it's good, it's waiting for some blood. Step three, she's going to cock that lancing device, which she just did. You did it beautifully, my love. That was <laughs> perfection. Thank you, Dennis. Step four, she's going to punch that finger. She's going to push hard up against the finger. Because it, ah. ooh, ooh. Okay. But still, hardly any blood is showing. Did she do it enough? She's going to squeeze it. I see very little blood, folks. We may need to do a repeat. I, I, <laughs> I have to say, this isn't looking too good. <laughs> Let's try steps okay, two and three step again. Two. Right. <laughs> Cock that uh, lancing device. Push it hard against your finger. 
and give it a squeeze. That's better. That may work. That may be enough. It may not. I don't know. It's not much. It's not nearly as much as what I usually get. You're not even touching the blood yet, my love. Oh, now you've pushed it and the, the blood isn't near big enough. That, this, that, that's not enough of a... The fact that it... <sighs> you see this, folks? This is an E3. E3 means you messed up. So, you're going to have to do it all over again <laughs> with another strip. I guess I'm not such a good teacher after all <laughs> because she's not quite getting it here. Go ahead and push it in. Okay. All right, you've 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 you're you've conquered the first uh, this the step number two. You you're you're able to do that very well. Now you're going to cock this. You're going to push it hard and don't back off. Don't back off. Push it hard and keep it there while you punch. Bam. Ah. I think she, folks. I think she did. It. I think she did it. Well, yeah, that should work. Yeah, that should work. Now she is applying the strip to the blood drop. And those lines mean she did it. Yes, folks, she has accomplished her goal. And she's now waiting, just a five-second wait. There it is. This is after lunch, so a 102 is not bad at all. Are you proud of yourself? Yes, I am proud of myself. After lunch, wow, it's good. A 102 after, it's been maybe an hour. She didn't eat much, but <laughs> whatever she ate, uh, it, it yeah, has worked for her. it's really good. Mm -hmm. all right, I'm not we... telling what I ate. I'm not telling what I ate. No, she's not going to tell what she ate. <laughs> Now, we'll be back in a moment, and I'm going to this time go ahead and load up all four, and we'll see how they compare with each other as she tries to test herself with all four using the same single drop of blood, and she'll need a big one. So, be back in a moment. Okay, each meter has been loaded with a strip, and Benedicta is ready to give herself another finger punch and hopefully try to get all four meters uh, uh, touched and working with just one single drop of blood. So, let's give it a shot. So we had intended to test all four, but one of them just wouldn't cooperate, would it? Yeah, I wouldn't cooperate. I don't know what was wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> just an, but, And by the way, we need to let the people know the names of these guys because this one's name is... Mita. Mike. Mike. This is Mike. And this one's name is... Mike, Mike. Demira. This is... Mike, Mike. Demira. And this one is... Mike, the meter. So, Mike, meet Mike, meet Mike, meet Mike. Mike, Mike. Not well, you too know. Too much of a Mike. <laughs> <laughs> George Foreman had a bunch of sons. I think five or six of them. He named them all George. So, if George okay. can name all his sons George, we can name all our meters Mike. Mike. Anyway, uh, there was a bit of a range. It, it wasn't perfectly accurate, the, uh, the, the three that we did get tested. Yeah. But not too far apart. No. So... Um, what do you think about Mike? You think he's of any value, or you think uh, he's just so inaccurate he's worthless? It, it, it there is a value in doing this because uh, it tells you what your blood sugar is at a particular time. Depends on when you are testing, whether in the morning or evening or afternoon. But it is really valuable because uh, you you use it to monitor yourself and monitor what your blood sugar when is high or low. Right. Okay, folks, so that is it for now. I will come back with a few closing remarks about all this testing and these different meters, and uh, then we will wrap it up for this video. Before I give a few concluding thoughts, I need to mention that I did a couple of morning tests on myself, which I didn't record on video. One morning last week, I tested the two freestyle meters and the contour next meter and I had a very close match among all three, an 83, an 83, and an 84. I was amazed to see how close these were, and then I thought that, well, I really shouldn't leave out the rely on meter, so I tested that a few minutes later, and that one registered a 95. After waking this morning, I tested all four meters and saw an 85, 88, 90, and once again the rely on meter showed the highest number with a 99. Ultimately, I have concluded that the Walmart rely on meter was probably the least reliable of the four, and that the other three, the Freestyle Light, the Freestyle Precision Neo, and the Contour Next were all fairly consistent, but of course they were not perfectly accurate. 
The day will come when glucose meters will be accurate within about a two-point range, but that probably won't happen in my lifetime. For now, we'll just have to accept that our meters are not perfectly accurate, but they are better, cheaper, easier, and faster than they were back in the days when my mom was fighting diabetes in the 1980s and 90s. On the thumbnail for this video, I ask three questions. So let me try to answer those questions now. First, can you trust your meter? Well, the answer is a qualified yes. Assuming that you do your homework and purchase one that has a good reputation for accuracy, you should be able to trust it to give you consistent results. Now, it may typically read five points higher or seven points lower than your doctor's, but at the very minimum, it can show you the difference between foods that send your glucose into orbit and those that do not. Even though these four meters that I've been testing myself with never read exactly the same, or rarely did, you can bet that if I ate a stack of pancakes drenched in sugary syrup, they would all register a disgustingly high number about an hour after my meal. On the other hand, if I ate some ham and eggs and maybe a few peanuts, they would all reveal relatively no low numbers. Now, on the second question I ask in the thumbnail, which is best, there are certainly different opinions on that. If you look at different reviews and lists on various websites, they rarely agree. Now, as for me, I want a meter that is rated high for accuracy and one that I can buy test strips without breaking the bank. The Freestyle Precision Neo and the Contour Next are two that rate high in my opinion, and the tests that I've been doing in the last couple of weeks confirm this to me. The Freestyle Light is also known for its accuracy, but the problem is the strips are more expensive. However, you can usually find them a bit cheaper on Amazon than you can at local stores. Now, the final question on the thumbnail isn't really a question, it's a statement which says the best way to use your meter to reverse diabetes. So the question is, is this even remotely possible? Can you really reuse your meter to reverse your diabetic numbers, to bring down your A1C score from diabetic to non-diabetic, to get your fasting glucose down from the 200s and 300s into the 90s and low 100s? Well, the answer is that this is what this YouTube channel is all about. And yes, you can. And we're hearing from diabetics by the thousands that use Mike the Meter to craft a diabetic diet that keeps their spikes low, and they find it has worked beautifully for them. And if you don't believe that, just start reading the comments that are under the videos, and you can see for yourself. I interview people from time to time that have seen victory over diabetes, but the truth is there's no way I could interview every person who shares an exciting story of beating diabetes. There are just too many of them. So, get yourself a glucose meter and start testing. Find out when your blood sugar tends to hit its peak and then craft a diet of foods that will keep your glucose peaks under the target that you and your doctor set and you will be on your way. My friend, let me encourage you. You may feel that your world is falling apart after your doctor told you you have serious diabetes, but I want you to know there is hope for you. Read good books, watch good videos, pray to God, and test, test, test yourself. And make the changes in your diet that you know you need to make. Okay, that'll do it for now. If you were blessed, give it a thumbs up so that YouTube will notice this video and start promoting it to other diabetics seeking answers. And consider subscribing to this channel so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. God bless. See you again soon.